The broadcast will commence shortly. Thank you for your patience. How can mirrors be real if our eyes aren't real? Stay tuned for more great content from Raw 1251 AM. The broadcast will commence shortly. There's definitely nothing going wrong behind the scenes at the moment. Thank you for your patience. We will be going live shortly. Hello, I'm Jonathan Meller, your Head of Visual Content. Thank you for watching. Varsity 2018 is upon us. They say it takes a human being a thousand hours to master a skill, but I'm Jack Goddamn Abbey, and I'm gonna master every single varsity sport in the next 100 seconds. Watch the top left hand corner. Let's go.
Oh, not again. Netball, one of the sports under the spotlight at this year's Varsity. For those of you whose only knowledge of the game is that a ball has to go through a net, here is Raw's guide to netball made simple. Two teams of seven players for 60 minutes traverse the 50 foot by 100 foot netball court, which is approximately eight and a bit by 16 and a little bit more of mat. The position of each player determines which of the five sections of the court they are allowed in. The two goal circles which house the 10 foot netball posts, the attacking and defensive thirds depending on which team you're in, depends on what you call each one, and the centre third which also contains the centre circle. Now let's introduce the seven positions of netball. I'm the goalkeeper. I'm allowed in the goal circle and the defensive third. Watch out for me as I catch the rebounds from the goal shooters and the goal attackers. I'm the goal defence. I'm allowed in the goal circle, defensive third and the centre third. Watch out for me as I intercept the ball and feed it back to the attackers. I'm the wing defence. I'm allowed in the defensive third and the centre third. Watch out for me as I try and stop the ball entering our defensive third. I'm the centre. I'm allowed everywhere but the goal circles. Watch out for me as I start the play with my centre pass. I'm the wing attack. I'm allowed in the attacking third and the centre third. Watch out for me as I set up our attackers with goal scoring opportunities. I'm the goal at... One second. Goal attack. I'm allowed in the goal circle attacking third and the centre third. Watch out for my multitude of skills from long shots to shots on the goal. I'm the goal shooter. I'm allowed in the goal circle and the attacking third. Watch out for me as I evade the goalkeeper and score goals. Now we've met the team, let's set up the game. The game is played in four quarters of 15 minutes and starts with a coin toss to determine which team will get the first centre pass. As soon as the whistle is blown, it is all go on the pitch as teams try to guide the ball down to their goal. Netball has several defining rules that are enforced by two umpires who police half a court each. 1. You cannot move with the ball, but that doesn't mean you have to remain stationary. Once you have caught the ball, the first foot in contact with the ground becomes your landing foot, which you can pivot around using your other foot. Any failure in footwork, including being offside, results in a free pass to the other team. 2. You only have three seconds from catching the ball to make your next pass. Failure to do so will also result in a free pass to the opposing team. 3. Shots into the goal are worth one point each and can only be made by goal shooters or goal attackers in the goal circles. And not like this. Or this. Or this. 
and definitely not like this. 4. You can't go wrestling the ball off of other players. Netball is a non-contact sport and any physical interaction, accidental or deliberate, will result in a penalty pass to the other team. 5. You also have to maintain a 3 foot distance between you and the leading foot of the player you are marking who is in possession of the ball. Failure to do so will be called as an obstruction and result in a penalty pass to the opposing team. In some events, the umpire will be unable to judge which person was at fault. In this case, a toss-up is done, where the ball is thrown between the two players and the first to grab it wins possession of the ball. Now that the rules are established, how do you get the ball from one player to another? There are three main types of pass you will observe in a netball game. There is the chest pass, the bounce pass and the shoulder pass. But what about netball at Warwick? Warwick currently has 10 netball teams, 3 Bucks and 7 League, with the Bucks 1 team taking on Coventry in varsity. After a complete shake-up of teams this year, they are all keen to bring home another win for Team Warwick. That is it for Raw's Netball Made Simple. You can watch Warwick in action against Coventry University on Saturday the 24th of February in our live footage of the match. So all that's left to say is... Go, Go Team Warwick! Warwick! A huge welcome to Varsity 2018. I'm your host, Jamie Lee Jenkins, and we are live on Raw in the main hall ready for Varsity Netball, which will be starting very, very soon. So Varsity is battled out every year between the University of Warwick and Coventry University. And so far, the University of Warwick have won 27 out of 27 of the Varsity competitions. And so far, it is shaping up pretty well for them this year as well with wins in cricket, fencing and squash, just to name a few. However, Coventry did win both of the showcase basketball games last night. So can Warwick bring it back today? We shall see. We are going to be bringing you some live analysis from throughout the game, so make sure that you stay tuned and follow us on social media at Raw1251AM using the hashtag Team Warwick to get involved with the conversation. So I'm now joined by our panellists. So I have got Zara, Ellie and Chloe with me today. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we'll start with you, Zara. What have you been making of Varsity so far? I mean, it's been really great. Obviously, this is my um, first Varsity, being a fresher this year. Um, and it's been really interesting to see, you know, the whole uni transform for this one weekend mm -hmm. um, in terms of the support within the clubs, the build-up. And, you know, there have been a variety of really intense matches, especially after basketball yesterday. Absolutely, yeah. We've got our women's netball today, and I'll be supporting men's lacrosse tomorrow. So it's going to be an interesting couple of days. Fantastic. And what about you guys? So you guys are netball players. So you know what you're talking about here. So how has it been for you guys so far? It's been really exciting. Yeah. Like, obviously, there's a lot of hype every year with Varsity. Obviously, we have our regular Bucks matches every Wednesday. Um, but Varsity is always the big win. We have people pushing up to try and get into the Varsity squad because they often take players up from the twos. Um, so, yeah, it's been really exciting. Yeah, I think Varsity in general was such a great weekend for the whole of campus. And everyone gets involved. Everyone's team worried. Everyone wants that win, even if you're not sporty. Mm -hmm. It's just a nice way to get everyone involved. Do you think there's a big presence of Varsity on campus? Like, particularly with it being your first year, like, have you seen a big like Varsity hype going on? No, I have. Especially, you know, seeing people walk around in their black and red, um, yeah. the banners. And especially when there's a home game, it's really nice because it's right on our doorstep and we can go and support and there's a massive crowd. Yeah. So how has the team been getting ready for this match so far? So obviously alongside uh, regular training which we have three times a week um, for the varsity squad and the training squad uh, they've had an extra two, uh, one or two sessions every single week where they've really been putting the hours in and um, there's been a lot of extra shooting practice. I know yesterday morning the shooters got up early to put some shots up and um, they took the defence with them to really uh, put some pressure on so they've been putting the hours in for sure. Yeah, they've just been working on set play, so really driving in their skills, making sure they know where each other are going. And they were lucky enough to have um, a training opportunity with Sam May, who's a Wasps, Wasps player, wow. um, at the Rico Arena, which is where the Wasps play all their games as well. So that was a great experience for the girls, to like, experience like the big stadium and like professional coaching. And just speaking of coaching, our coach Catherine as well, she's been putting in the, the extra hours with the girls. So yeah, really training for the win. 
So yeah. what are you expecting to see on, on the match, on the pitch today? Um, I think they're going to be practicing a lot of their set plays. Catherine's been telling us to focus quite a lot on um, giving the first ball. So often, um, if you're sort of panicking on the court and you're not sort, sort of sure who to throw um, the ball to, we've, we've got a three second limit on every ball. Catherine's really been focused on giving that first ball and getting the girls to run for it mm -hmm. um, rather than just giving any old ball um, and sort of getting the play to progress. Um, also, the front cut coming in front for the ball quite a lot. Um, she's really trying to cut out sort of. Um, horizontal drives so they're going to hopefully see a lot of uh, forward move in play um, which is what we've been working on in training and the varsity squad in particular. Yeah and just building on what Ellie said I think just working as a team together so knowing where each other are moving, knowing when you're offering, when to re-offer and I think the girls it's just for them to keep calm under the pressure because obviously it's a big crowd, lots of support but I think they're very good at keeping calm and just working together as a team and commuting communicating themselves on yeah. the court. So. so last question, if you two were on the pitch, what position would you guys be playing today? Oh God, um, um, we're, we're, we're both centre court, aren't we? Yeah, so, so I'm a wing attack, wing defence. Yeah, right, centre right. wing defence, so yeah. We're too, we're too short to do anything else yeah. really, yeah. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to graphics and look at the league and how you guys have been playing so far. So if you want to just take a look over. So what do you like making of the league? So they've come up from fourth, I believe, and now we are you guys are third in 2A. So what do you think that's going to mean for them on the pitch? How has the season been working out for them? Yeah, so um, on Wednesday, they had an absolute stormer of a win away against Worcester. They absolutely smashed it. I think, what was the score? 50? 59-21. Yeah. So, yeah, I've got 51-29. 51-29. Yeah. Yeah. So massive yeah, win. Yeah. Massive win for them yesterday. So they'll be coming out today with a lot of confidence. Um, they are yet to play top of the table, Birmingham. Um, but other than that, they have had some really strong wins. Yeah. Um, so hopefully we're going to have um, a really, really strong, focused and positive team going out today um, after Wednesday's win. So, I mean, they had a game with Nottingham, didn't they, where it was... Nottingham kind of... I think Nottingham have beaten them... Yeah. yeah, Nottingham have beaten them twice now. Um, yeah. Nottingham are kind of a notoriously difficult team to beat okay. I think any of the girls who've ever played in the ones will sort of attest to that Nottingham yeah. and Birmingham are always kind of the big two but you know regardless they ha they always you know put 100% out uh, out on court and it's just a question today of putting any sort of losses behind them focusing on the yeah. good play they had on Wednesday they came back saying that they had some really strong defense um, Sarah Kehoe in particular our captain and goalkeeper she got girl of the game on Wednesday um, and she apparently was playing really really well so hopefully we're gonna see some really really strong defense today so do you think that games really set them up quite well for this the confidence that they kind of needed to go to yeah so I think they've really had their confidence boost from that good win I think the goal difference from the win this time to when they played them last time as well was really like increased it's as a well. fantastic goal difference. So it's really impressive it's really helped with their confidence I think they're gonna go in strong they know they've been training the win just shows how the training's paying off yeah so. it's been pretty close to the bottom of the league there hasn't it for, for quite quite a while so I think it's I think they've done really well and obviously 51 29 like you say is a massive massive win so hopefully we can be seeing it yeah hopefully we'll be seeing a lot of shots going in today so yeah. that's quite exciting yeah yeah so when we compare this to the Coventry league tables and how Coventry have been doing um, we should have that up now yeah so if we have a look at Coventry they're in the league below um, how do you think that's gonna play out when we when we look at it in the match um, so I think obviously Coventry are in the league below but they've been doing very well. I think as we can see they're second in the league. So obviously they've had a lot of wins, probably just losing to Birmingham, um, I would assume. So they're probably in that winning spirit. Yeah. They're ready for a challenge, maybe a slightly harder match, which the girls from Warwick can give them being that one league above them. Yeah. yeah. They did lose to Birmingham by quite a margin, yeah, didn't they? 1942 to Birmingham. Yeah. So yeah. It's a big, big difference. And I think, was that, I think that was just last week. Um, I think it was on so Whereas we're going in on the back of a win, Cov are coming in on the back of the loss and, and also in the league below. But then also, you know, they're coming in with nothing to lose. Absolutely. So it kind of, it is a bit, um, it is a, it is quite different for Coventry in that respect. But they have obviously had a lot of wins this season. They will have been, had a lot of opportunity to work on their set plays. So I wouldn't be surprised to see some really like fluid um, set plays from Coventry because... It has a lot of effect on their confidence, wouldn't yeah. it? Fab. So we're going to introduce um, Nati and Mungasin because I believe that Chloe, you're going off and doing some commentary. Yes, I will be commentating. So yeah, <laughs> so, stay tuned yeah. because we are going to be having um, we're going to be having the lovely Chloe giving us some of that, and we are welcoming Nasia. Hi. Yeah.
So hello, um, thank you so much for coming on and joining us. So based on what we've just seen with the leagues, uh, we've kind of touched on this, but how do you think this is going to like play out with the two teams competing against each other? I think it's been mentioned before that the leagues are quite close together, um, so it's going to be a really tight game. Obviously Warwick have had a really good game recently, but Coventry have been playing really, really well and quite strongly this whole, the whole through the whole league. Um, so I think it's definitely going to be a good game today. I think we're going to see some interesting plays, some great play from our girls. I know they've been training really, really, really hard, um, so it's definitely going to be interesting. Yeah, because it's quite hard to predict, I think. Yeah, if you had to, I mean, if I had to force you to make predictions. Oh, definitely Warwick, definitely Warwick, 100%. You can That's never what tell, though. Warwick. Yeah. There's, been some, there's been some absolutely cracking wins here in Main yeah. Hall, but there's also been some, you know, some disappointing losses. And it doesn't yeah. really matter. The league tables on the day kind of go out the window. It's just who puts out the performance on the day. We've seen that over my time at Warwick anyway, and I'm sure over the last 27 years. Yeah. Um, it kind of doesn't really matter what the league what the league tables are standing. So, sorry, we'll come to you. Where, where do you think that this is going to go today? If, if you could predict, do you think we should trust the league tables or the fact that Coventry is coming in? From a loss, are they going to be really raring and ready to go today? I mean, I think with Coventry, obviously, they've got that um, pressure to live up to Warwick standards, but I think that could go either way in terms of um, playing really well because, as um, Ellie said, you know, they've got nothing to lose after their losses, or it could affect their gameplay. I mean, it's quite hard to say, but obviously, I'm rooting for Warwick. I'm hoping for a win. Whether it's a big lead or just a marginal win, I have no idea. Yeah, what are we expecting to see the Coventry girls do? So, apparently, we may have a wasp. Yeah. yeah, there's a rumour that there's a Wasps player on the Cov yeah. team. Yeah. Uh, we're not sure whether she's actually like in the full, uh, you know, Wasp squad or whether she's under 21s. Um, but yeah, we're actually not sure a who she is, b if she's <laughs> here, we'll and, so we and see if she. Yeah, we're eyes. not entirely sure if that's the case. But um, if it is the case, then yeah. she'll be putting in, you know, a lot of hard, a lot of hard work, and that yeah. will raise the level of the Cov girls. Because when you've got a good player on your team, you always sort of kind of aspire to it, to work that hard. But at the same time, the Warwick girls, they know that that is a possibility. They're yeah. going to put the hard work in, and I don't think they're going to let themselves be outshone at home by by one Wasp player. So with that, quickly, our last question: Where, What do you think the Warwick girls are going to pull out the bag today? Are we expecting any anything special coming there? Um, to be honest, I think we're just going to be some solid play. I think it's going to be really clean. Hopefully, we've been really working on discipline because we've got yeah. some, and um, we've actually got two empires today who empire our bucks matches, and they're really hot on discipline. So hopefully, we're not going to see many unforced errors, um, and just some really, really smooth patches of play. And the, there are for sure going to be some long, uh, kind of crazy balls flying around the girls are a bit guilty of doing that sometimes but they always get where they need to go right. um, so hopefully all of the work that they've put in and Catherine our coach is really going to pay off today okay right so thank you so much guys right so I am now going to be handing over to Ed Farah and Chloe who's just gone for the games commentary we will be starting very very soon <laughs> oh thank you very much Jamie it's lovely to be here this is the Varsity Netball 2018 here in the main hall. My name's Ed Farrow. I'm joined by Chloe. We have been going through the lineup, so it's, it's a rather raucous atmosphere. Ellie Martin just threw a ball at a bear. I'm not sure what's happening, to be perfectly honest with you. But here we go. Um, we're going to go through the team lineups now. Let's start with Warwick, the home team. Goal shooter. That's going to be Sophia Bassey. She's a second year history with Italian student from Cambridge. She's 5 foot 10. Her favourite night on school days, and she's also president of Warwick Women's Cricket. The goal attack, we've got Heather Watts. She's a fourth year German studies with a French student from Ulverston. She'll be listening to Destiny's Child before the game and we'll see her slotting the shots on the court, hopefully. Wing attack, Jessica Radoshi. She's a third year Moore student from East London who is also club president. She loves school days and any music from high school musical. So do I, Jess, I completely agree. In at centre is Emma Knoll. She's a medicine fresher from Leeds. She's five foot nine. And the only fresher in the lineup, apparently we won't see her on court because she's too fast. We'll see about that. Emma in at wing defence it's Georgia Gilson she's a fourth year history student from Dorset she's five foot three and her favourite pop tune is Robbie Williams Angels mind you can call me out Georgia if you're going to watch back on this uh, in at goal defence it's Holly Pritchard she's a second year business management student from London her favourite night out of work is pop and apparently her pancreas doesn't work no idea what that's about. And finally, goalkeeper and captain, it's Sarah Kehoe. She's a third-year engineering student from London. She says we'll see her dominating the opposition on the court. And her favourite night out is Las Iguanas Happy Hour. I actually rather like Las Iguanas Happy Hour as well. So let's look through the Coventry lineup now. We've heard rumours of a Wasps player. I can tell you that is true. Uh, we'll start off with the goal shooter uh, for Coventry University. Uh, Paige Money will be out there. For goal shooter is a very, of course, important position because especially in games like this, we'll have to see 
Um, Coventry slotting the shots to make sure they win. Uh, in that goal attack is Rebecca Folwell. Wing attack is Lucy Bostock. Centre is Philomona Smith. Wide wing defence is Kiara Laker. Goal defence is Hailey Matt Adayo. She is the Wasp player, so keep an eye out on her in goal defence. And finally, two goalkeeper captains tonight to look for that for us. Coventry University's Claire Fox. She's captain for Coventry. I'm joined by Chloe. It's a great atmosphere. Uh, Warwick have put a really well, a, a resounding result at the moment. I think they're 26-8 up at Warwick at the moment. Lots of wins today. Actually, uh, men's cricket who are right next to me, creating a lot of noise. Got a social set next to me, so we're in a bit of trouble here. Uh, but they won earlier on. Uh, by 47 runs against Coventry so again we go to a showcase sport on a Saturday Chloe yeah. and the results almost decided which is kind of sad but how do you see the game going? I think the game is going to be a tough one for the girls um, obviously the Wasps play is probably going to throw them off a bit but they've played together as a team very well throughout the season they came from a big win on Wednesday as we've said before um, we've got lots of versatility in the team so they can change it up if it's not working our coach Catherine's down there as well so she'll be encouraging the girls um, and also great crowd supporting everyone so that yeah. really helps the girls yeah we must say how great a crowd there is we're not we're very packed in men's cricket are next to us we know there's a big netball contingent down the end Ellie Martin the sports officer's court side and then above us looming down is Coventry University supporters one's just made eye contact with me it's very awkward indeed uh, but they've come down and we'll see how they do today because they're in a little bit of trouble in Varsity 2018 uh, Coventry over there in the far corner having their final team talk they captain Ellie King just going through with them and over there you can see Sarah Kehoe the captain of work giving some final words Chloe yeah. We know this is going to be a close game. Should be an exciting game as well. Should be an exciting game. I'm expecting a win for the girls. I think they've got the energy. We've got lots, a lot of experienced players. They've used to, they're used to playing in varsity before, so should be staying calm under the pressure. You can see our umpires getting ready. So yeah, it's going to be the final team talks before we go on. And we're coming to you. You can hear now. Home a huge roar as Warwick University. Let's go I'm not going to comment over this, it's simply phenomenal. Yeah. The Coventry University now run out. Coventry are taking the court. You can see the Warwick girls Huge. staying calm. This is, I mean, this is an unbelievable atmosphere. Should make for a fantastic game and we're about to go to the first centre. Yeah. Warwick centre Emma Knowles up against Coventry's centre. Emma Knowles Coventry came from start. Durham, played for Durham once. Interesting Durham once. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. She's 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 a Durham. postgraduate. She's postgraduate medicine. So here we are at the start of Warwick Net Point Coventry. Varsity 2018. It's a Coventry start. Yep, lovely marking from Georgia Gilson. Yeah! Oh my gosh, she she's turned the, the ball. With the fire down the field. There's a foul actually against a shoddy. The ball's that? gone in Warwick's favour. Georgia Gilson's going to step up to take it. It's contact by the goal defence. That's the Wasps player's been called up for contact. Emma Knowles in space now. She and the finds what now? A Bassi will collect. And a Bassi for the first shot. No, she's out of bounds. And Coventry will start again. Yeah, and it's footwork. And then by again, the goal the foul. That's the Wasps player. Yeah, I know. Knowles. A Bassi now. The ball is very slippy, so if she's not used to it, she will get called up. And it's an excellent tip she's got back. But Knowles will again for back again. We can show, see the quality of the Wasps player. Great a ball shoddy. by Emma. What's Playing now? it round. Knowles. That'll be contact by the centre. Yep. Knowles then with a free pass. She finds a Bassey in the centre. Girls got called for three seconds. They'll be turning it back now. Here we go then. Coventry will start moving down the field. Oh, contact. contact by Georgia Gilson. She is a bit of a feisty player, but that's the fighting spirit we like. Um, she gets the turnovers. Yeah, excellent pressure there. Watts coming in with pressure. Scrappy already here in the netball. No points so far as Gilson collects in the middle of the field. She'll look out. And now there's movement. It's a catalogue of errors. We said that the yeah, again, we, the we said that the umpires were going to be strict here. I and think they are being so. The umpires tend to listen as well to the sound for the footwork calls. Here we go. Great defence. Yes, excellent marking by Sarah Kehoe and Holly Pritchard. And the goal attack's been called up. Here Pritchard we go. now. She'll find Gilson. Gilson can't get hold of it. I would say. Yeah, we are With Gilson now in the middle of the field. Watts is giving an option out wide, but. Yeah, it's contact on the balls. The girls are going to need to work on coming forward. They're hiding behind their players a bit. Yeah, just there with an early drive. Into a shoddy now. 
out wide to Knowles and there's space for Watts down the left hand side yep, of Sophia's holding the space they haven't seen it they swung it to the pocket into and Sophia and here's Abassi now with the go. final shot for the first shot of the game shoots misses and it's tapped over by Coventry and we're yet to see a goal but we're now in a chance back for line. Watts to they're holding again. their space Watts find Knowles yeah first ball in there we go in it the goes to Heather corner. Watts into Knowles the girls now. aren't going to waste any opportunities yep Watts on the ball, shoots, shoots and scores! Yeah, first goal to Warwick! Yeah. Warwick take a one point lead. Now it's the Warwick centre. centre. Yes. No, They've taken score. the lead, just come out with a lovely offer on the centre. Sophia's offered. Out it goes, this is one of their set plays, they're just working it round. Pritchard then will find a shoddy. A shoddy, five A lovely over ball Sophia. in, not quite high enough. Knowles out wide now. Abassi will have the chance to shoot again. Shoot and oh, just missed. Just rolls off the rim. Now Coventry will have the chance to move down the field. They've been slow with their build up. They've Good pressure space by out wide for the centre. Now there's space now in the ring for Coventry. Can they capitalise on yes, this opportunity? Yes, Sarah Kehoe hassling her player. And they've taken the advantage. First opportunity for the goal shooter of Coventry, and she misses it. It's tipped and over. Oh, she'll collect great again. Rebound by the the centre, girls. Two players down. Shoots again Back and off. finally scores. Coventry are on the board in this one. Okay, this one for the girls to get back. Coventry start. Yes, oh, nearly. Yes, Holly tip Pritchard with the tip. And Warwick, Warwick back. back line, it came off the goal attack. And collecting possession from the captain, Kehoe. Now, where are the options down the field? It's a yes, Holly's got three. Right to Knowles. She'll drop deeper, centre to try and create space. Why? Contra really hard on the high line. Yep. Gilson out wide to Knowles. Now, Knowles, Gilson in the centre of the field. A shoddy gives they're an option. They're playing the ball between them. They're not forcing it. Keyhoe. Getting depth on her drive. Well done, Jess. Knowles again finding space out wide. Watts now finds some space. Yeah, lovely ball out to Jess. Watts now fires it out wide to Knowles. Where's the option? It's over the top to Spears Watts. He collects. There. Will she She's take a shot? No. Strong. Into Knowles. Into yes, Abassi. There's some space now. Abassi will have the first Destruction by goalkeeper. She'll have another shot now to make it 2 1. And she yeah, blocks it for Abassi. Her first goal. 2 1. 2 Warwick, and it's a work centre. That will really help her confidence. She's ready to go again. It's a huge roar from the crowd. Bassi will collect again. Here we go, there's two. They're going to hold the goal defence now. Sophia's holding it free. Oh, and the goal defence has got round her. That's what we can expect from a Wasp player. She is more experienced. It's a raucous atmosphere in here, Chloe. As Great pressure over by Sophia. And they're Knowles playing at the advantage, collects. even though they went over the third. Gilson, what? Advantage contact by the wing defence. Knowles now will yep. come in and finds a Bassi. The shoot is done well. Watts has a Held free, defenders free off. shot here. And yeah. scores! And they convert it. Coming to the lead, it's 3 1 to Warwick University. And straight away, and Emma's called for obstruction. University. There's an obstruction, as Chloe has told us. But in fact, Contra will be starting again. It's fired out wide. Two Coventry centres and is going out of bounds, and Warwick. Okay, we'll yeah, we should see just one of on the force it a little place. bit. I feel now, Coventry. They're, yeah, they're, they they're are. not being as patient. They're feeling as the pressure. Good uh, tip by them. a really high line as well. It's yeah. It's too close there. Yeah, the umpire's called the obstruction by the goal Infringement. attack. Holly should get some depth on her drive now. Her play is not with her. Gilson. Yes, lovely take by Georgia Gilson. A shoddy now for space. It's a Watts, Watts. Lovely play by the girls. First one, Abassi, Abassi collects, Abassi with the shot now. Scores! I cannot underestimate how amazing an atmosphere this is to be commentating in, for this game to be happening in. It's unfortunate call, Georgia Gilson broke too early, so now the ball's going to Coventry, just outside there attacking third. Heather Watts got her arms over the ball, putting the pressure on. Great arms by Georgia Gilson, keeping her player off the D. Coventry will have the chance now. Yes, great pressure by Sarah Kehoe, that's the captain. Kehoe tries great to put pressure on, great Coventry will pull on that. Down to a two-point deficit. The girls are going to want to turn this one back. They've lost their centre, this is the opportunity. Kehoe, too close there, and there'll be a free shot for Coventry who score. Down to a one-point lead with Warwick centre. Coventry building themselves into the game now. We know they're in the lower league, but we can see the quality that they possess, and they're risking 
Risking Great ball themselves to Emma. going so high up the field. Easy. Abassi Into finds Sophia. space. Have the confidence, Sophia. A shoddy. Abassi now. Go. Will nice she shoot? Ball. She will. Got pressure from behind. But miss it. And there's an infringement, which means Abassi will have another go. Abassi is blocked Destruction off. Destruction by them, but... But uh, no, Coventry will reclaim the ball. They're only one oh, point the behind. Into her hand there. Coventry finding some space in the centre of the there's field. And Warwick have caught a break. It's a sloppy game today, is it? It is right? very sloppy. There is a lot of footwork calls being called, a lot of obstruction as well. I think the girls just need to calm down. They are feeling the pressure of the big game. There we go again, another held ball. So I think so the girls just need to settle now. Coventry then, one point deficit for them. Adia, the, the Wasps player, will Great start off for them. Yes, no, there's Emma in Knowles. Though. Tips. It will still be Coventry ball. We see already the influence of the Wasps player straight away. We know yeah, what she can do. Yeah, she's very obviously. dominant on court. I think that could work to their advantage, but also their disadvantage if she's trying to do too much, not playing as a team. So, hopefully. Yes, Another tip from Knowles. A oh, no. But already Emma Knowles. Slightly too physical, we can't blame her, it's fast here after all. We love I think that wasn't too physical, I think it was a bit of an overreaction by their centre there. A little bit biased maybe, but no, no, of course, absolutely, 100%. Lovely marking Awful in the circle, the Sarah Kew is not letting her player get near the ball. Coventry now, they'll shoot from outside the centre, it's a long shot, it's missed, but it's tipped. Their goal shooter will have another go now and she scores. All even now, Coventry building all into in. the game, it's 4-4 four four now. In. Coventry centre again. They're Great finding a lot of space in, just in front of the goalkeeper and the goal defence. Emma Knowles and Jessica Shoddy pushing forward as, a, as is Gilson to try and create these opportunities. And there's some space for Coventry who now look to go into the lead and they do. 5-4 to Coventry with Emma Knowles in the centre. There's space behind Warwick yeah. at the moment as a, do, a Shoddy the finds a battle. The down now, they're just going to play it round, they're not going to force it in, they're going to use their back up. Yeah, that's it. Contact by the when you're in this there. position, you know, you started really well, yeah. but Coventry coming back into the game, what would you say to the girls now? What do they need to so do? I think now it's just the girls keep keeping their head, not allowing their little mistakes to get on top of them. Yeah. So like that, Sophia staying calm under the pressure and also not letting the crowd put them off. Sophia, Sophia Abassi missed a couple of shirts early on, but she's getting back into it as yeah, Coventry Sophia's forced out wide a little bit. She's actually just moved up to the ones um, for 2018. She was in the twos last season. But yeah, she's moved up, so she's doing really well on the new team. Good Kehoe pressure unable by Sarah. to stop that. A little bit of an infringement of the Koff player. He'll have a free shot. Yeah, and misses. And it's tipped rebound. over. There's nothing Pritchard could do. As Coventry miss again. She's going to jump and block the rebound. And Coventry go ahead with the goal shooter. Men's cricket have got some tactical analysis. They say lean more. I presume that's uh, something that Warwick should be doing. Yeah, the girls Gilson. doing what they can in defence. That goal attack is very tall. So well, the, th the thing is, the goal shooter advantage. is winning all of these tip-offs, yeah. uh, which is which is difficult, uh, especially I mean Pritchard uh, and Kehoe, very good players, very strong yeah. players, but th they haven't got the height Not advantage. Quite as tall as, um, the goal shooter, so it is becoming a bit of an issue. But she's got a good jump on her, so I'm sure she'll get the rebounds. Knowles, infringement now. There. For Emma. Coventry is covering up, covering the wing defence, and it's great pressure there. Uh, Watts has put the pressure on. Called it's up a, for contact. It's, it's, a, it's a really interesting game. It's both both teams are definitely going for the 50-50s, and they're giving away fouls, but it's an entertaining prospect. Yeah. As the ball's fired over. It would definitely over. be said at uh, quarter time about the number of unforced errors there are. And I think Kehoe. yeah, it's going either side. She'll find space for Pritchard. We can see that height issue. As Kehoe come forward on those ones. Finds yeah, Gilson. 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 Who can she find Jess down the field? Offering. That's there's physical play there. So. That's unfortunate. Coventry. She stepped in, so the obstruction wasn't called. Gilson's blo blocking her player. That's it. Arms over the ball. Lovely. Gilson's not letting her play near the D. That's what we want. Yeah, good pressure by the Emma. Attempt from Knowles to stop that but Coventry are finding some space within yeah and a lovely switch by the girls in the circle the up circle. you go Holly pressure Goal on they're going to keep her the out there now she needs to find something Kehoe's going to get in front Coventry for that one and it's great pressure in, yeah really Warwick played ball. ball Kehoe will start the whole thing again she fires Risky out to Pritchard ball over the D Knowles and Kehoe nice give Captain options Captain Kehoe Gilson settling the players on court into the president Adoshi Pritchard no, the Wasps player, you can tell she's have to very tall and you she look at her straight tall. away against Watts. She Heather can read Watts the game very well. And yes, Jessica Shoddy with the tip. one of the smaller players on the field then making an impact. Yeah, very springy player. She's been in varsity for the past two years, so she's her last varsity. <laughs> Unfortunate call, Jess being called for contact, but not in issues, not in our... 
firing it out wide. Go shooter will have the chance to put them ahead and does so. 7-5. You see what Coventry are able to do. I don't know if that's her extra quality. They're yeah. threading the ball through an eye of a needle just to be able to get into the right position. And they'll yeah. have to do so again. Warwick flooding that defensive line, around, but there's space for the centre. The She's going to let her push it out. They're swinging it around. Yeah. Yes! And Captain Good play from Kehoe. She knew where the ball was. can't quite keep it in play. It. Coventry will have to recycle here. Yeah, great play. Oh. Great and Coventry... Holly. Go three points ahead. Warwick in a little bit of trouble here, Chloe. It's not something we'd like to see. Three, there are lots of people behind me now. Three goals in netball. Let's work. Start again. Get back. They'll score from this centre, hopefully. There we go. We've got the contact, so it's less pressure. The shoddy into Watts. Watts will shoot. Watts will miss, but the tip is won by Coventry. Pressure, He'll move He's down the field. The Coventry are moving a lot quicker down the field now. As their confidence has grown, they're really moving the oh, ball, recycling the ball far Holly. quicker. And now straight away, within 10 seconds, they have another shot to extend their lead. Another four points ahead. The Coventry supporters above us very much getting into the game now. It's their centre. They can go five points ahead if they continue to press well. Great arms there by Jess. This and is Gilson really good got her arms over the ball again. It's Coventry. The girls need to put a bit Fire more pressure over the top. On. The goal shooter will have the chance now. Shoots and misses, oh, but the misses, tip off yes. is won by Warwick this time. It's going to be out of hands by a goalkeeper, be I think. A free shot here for an yeah. infringement. Going, what can Kehoe and Pritchard do now to stop these tip-offs? Because Coventry are dominating yeah. that final third. And they're also starting to dominate the centre third. The girls. I think they need to just close the girls down. And again, Gilson and Emma need to put the pressure on the ball going in. Because once those girls get the ball, it is going straight in the net. So just the pressure on, really. There's some space for Abassi in the centre. What's blocked off? Warwick will regain the ball. We're going to want the girls to get top and side now rather than staying in the same space. That's it, they've moved round. What's going to hold their space. What's with the free shot? What's misses? And Coventry will regain the ball. Unfortunate for Heather, but she's going to get this one back. This is really good from Coventry. Really Nearly good from Jess, them. Nearly Jess, going for the flying interception. There's ball moving forward. You can just see the way they're moving the ball through yes, the Heather. court. It's incredibly impressive. Yeah, it's I very think good they do them. have the Coventry girls do have a lot of space. The girls need to be tighter on down the court. A shoddy with some space now. Fires yeah, out to Watts, whose movement's to good. It's a Abassi. lovely ball to Sophia. They're going no to work it around. She'll find a Get shoddy. Closer. Keep working it around. A obstruction by centre. Yeah. A shoddy now with a free pass into Knowles. Abassi looking for space. Abassi has space. Same space, girls. She finds a shoddy. She'll have a free pass. Oh, that's unfortunate. That was a very short three seconds. Warwick will move forward. Coventry on the ball then. And that's the end of the first there. quarter. That is the end of the first quarter. And it's been tough for Warwick. They started very, very well. Ten points to five to Coventry. It's been difficult for Warwick. We'll see how they come back. But now I'm going to throw it over Jamie Lee Jenkins, who has some very special people with her. Wasn't her after all. Okay, so we are back. We have had the first quarter. And I'm here with Taylor and Meg. So you guys are from ladies hockey. Yep, yep. that's so us. So net netball is not really your game, but how have you how have you been finding it so far? <laughs> it's very good. The atmosphere is a lot more intense and a lot busier than it was last year. Yeah, definitely. There's so many more people than there were last year. Yeah. Lots of men's clubs, lots of ladies clubs here as well, which is nice. Lots yeah, it seems, it seems like a really good atmosphere. And it's, I think it's really good for like the teams to keep like definitely keep that sort of thing going. So, uh, what's been like your highlights of? varsity so far Ooh. we went to the basketball last did. night and that was yeah. such a nail-biting end to the ladies game like yeah. 52 50 last three seconds and we were yeah, like oh really, my god really is it intense. gonna go in and it did but it wasn't quite in the time so that was so in so exciting yeah this is good um we've got hockey later yeah so i think everyone's I'm really psyched yeah. for that. Yeah, it'll be a good is this quite is this quite a pivotal game do you think if i do think if we take this do you think we've got um i think we're normally oh. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay so we're now joined by sports officer Ellie right. Martin. So this, that's all right. So this is obviously a big deal, varsity. This yes. is a big thing for you. How are you yes. finding it all so far? Do you know what? I thought that my nerves would settle down ever so slightly <laughs> now the event's actually here, but if anything, they've ramped up even yeah. more. I just don't want to be that sports officer that loses. I was going to say, no. like 27 out of 27, there's a lot of pressure. Yeah, yeah. You, have you been watching the game? I've watched absolutely every single game. Right. I've been to every one. <laughs> 
that my is, that's phone keeps dying. <laughs> Honestly, I have this like gigantic charger in my bag that has like four prongs to it. <laughs> it's it's intense, but I'm so proud of the team work athletes. We've only lost one fixture so far, so yeah. I'm incredibly proud of all the work they're they doing. We won everything else. And ladies hockey sick. will be most certainly will be so exciting. Are you a ladies hockey girl as well? I am indeed yeah. through and through. Of course. How do you think the netball girls have been doing today? I think they're playing incredibly well. I think they have a very difficult game ahead of them because they are obviously the live broadcast, they have a huge crowd, it can be really intimidating. But their Akuma kit looks fantastic, <laughs> got to get that in there. And uh, the scoreline is reflecting how close the game it is, so yeah. I'm excited. I think, like you said, I think there's a lot of pressure with it being the live broadcast when you're yeah. there. And, and I think because they've just had a really good win as well in their mm. league. So yeah, the I leagues are going kind good. Of, mm. That's kind of going to show. Where do you think this is going to go? Do you think we're going to take this game? Absolutely. We we have to back our girls, don't we? And oh, they definitely yeah. will be able to win. Yeah, this let's game. go. And we're going to be commentary, no problem. So there's also, there's a WASP player on the pitch. Mm. So have we, have we been sense in this is she playing well I don't think there's any athlete that's standing out different to our girls today I think yeah. if anything the team spirit of our team Warwick girls are, is shining stronger than Coventry's at the moment yeah. but I am biased <laughs> no, no, I, I would agree I think no I didn't know yeah no I, I think the play's been really nice I think Warwick are playing a lot neater if that's yeah. like I think yeah. there's a, like quite a lot of pressure on Coventry as well yeah. to to gather up so obviously a lot can change in the next three quarters yeah um what do you think the Warwick girls need to bring now girls Anyone? A game, maybe. Sass. Yeah, but they'll yeah. probably turn it up a notch in the second half. Yeah. Like in terms of speed and like moving it about. Yeah. yeah. Try a lot of things that they haven't tried yet. Yeah. Get the first quarter nerves out of the way, and now yeah. we're going to start seeing just yeah. how quality our With girls really any are. Any sport is the second half. It's always going to yeah. be better than the you first. You want it so, so much more. They're just warming up. <laughs> I agree. They're yeah. playing with Coventry. They're toying with it. Good warm up. Yeah. <laughs> and what about Coventry? Are these going to be the similar sort of thing? Are they going to be up in their game a little bit? I think they must be. They are very strong right now. But <laughs> no. I guess maybe they might get a bit tired. Yeah. So they might run around. Right, thank you so much, guys. I am going to throw you back to Ed now for more commentary. Well, thank you very much, Jamie. Coventry worked back on. During the break, Coventry have been very confident. They've been chanting, rather be a poly. And the men's cricket team have suggested that I shout back, where are your prospects? But I'm not sure that's very kind, so we won't be doing that. It's a rather big congregation which have come behind me. I wonder. I hope they're here for my analytical insight as Coventry start off. Uh, it's Halamat Azio, the Wasps player we've heard there. And now they move into the D, the goal shooter. That's Paige Money. Great name. And Rebecca Folwell, also a good name. It's defended by Kehoe. Still joined by Chloe. May I just ask, what's the impact of Halamat Adio? She's goal defence. She's a Wasp player. She's good. Yeah, very she good. is very good. She's got the height as well, so it's becoming an issue for the rebounds. She's got a dominant. Um, she's been very dominant on court. She's getting the tips down court. So I think they actually need to stay calm and not let that um, affect them because they're still good players. A shoddy. Go girls. Find some space for Knowles. Got Becky Lloyd we'll try and look for space in the box. This is it's a bit shoddy from a shoddy. And Coventry now will have the ball and they'll start with Claire Fox. What a great name. Smooth forward. Great pressure. This is space there. for the goal attack. Fired all the way over to the and centre, but that's pressure. too they long. They try to fling it to the pocket, it hasn't worked for them. Warwick now will start. Warwick just needs to get on the board, I feel, Chloe, to get back into the second quarter. Five points behind, of course, as Knowles picks up the ball deep. Yeah, great move there by Kehoe. We need to go forward, girls. And oh, that's unfortunate. They've been timed out. Yeah. Coventry again, they're playing a very high line. They're really pushing Warwick to keep them back, and it's working so far. Goal shooter, Paige Money, misses. Oh, unfortunate. Well. The girls need to get up on those rebounds. Yeah, Fallwell great pressure. Shoots by and scores, and that's a six point lead. That's really good from Rebecca Folwell there. Very good indeed. That's a shoddy now in wing attack. Yep. Fires out wide. There's a change for Warwick. The goal shooter. Abassi is off. And on comes Becky yep. Lloyd. And more information about Becky Lloyd in a minute. Go There's a shoddy. Picks the ball up. Uh, the girls are in the same space. Here we go. Becky's up. Yep. Lloyd with her first action. Shoots and misses. Yep. Both so defenders are out. Here we go. This Lloyd is the one. Yeah. Yes. Staying calm under the pressure. Coventry then with the centre. Warwick with the first points of the half. You can hear BJ being shouted around the ground. I promise it's nothing too graphic. That's her nickname. Becky Lloyd. She's five yeah, foot Rebecca five. Jane Lloyd. She's a second year English literature student as Coventry shoots a score to bring back the, back the lead. 
She's from Essex. Yeah, great move there by Heather. A shoddy. Fires out to Lloyd. Lloyd looking for space. Emma's Lloyd making an impact already. Brandon he's Knowles. Goes. Oh, Fires out to Watts, but again, Adio comes in and blocks. Risky giving the overhead when she's that tall. They're going to keep working it. They've used Holly as the backup. Emma's free. They're just going to keep working it between them. A block and there it's offside by the goal well. attack. Not achievable by her. Bit ambitious. Be a bit of an inside to Becky Lloyd. When we asked her what she'd be doing on court, she says she'd be slotting the shots. We rather hope she is, but Warwick are in desperate need as a shoddy finds Lloyd. Will she go for the long shot? She does so, shoots, misses, but Watts wins that one. Watts again will have the chance to shoot and score. They've got shoots, good leans, misses. they are tall players. Well, that's, that's poor leaning, as men's cricket are telling me. They're talking to by the umpire for the captain. Watts shoots, misses, but a shoddy will collect now. They've got to work it round Watts, now, the girls. Knowles. No, also find space ball. for Watts. Yeah, Watts does collect. There's no space for Becky Lloyd. There isn't. Yeah. Adio comes in and wins. And now Coventry can move down the field. Coventry fire forward. Unfortunate. It's contact by Georgia Gilson. The girls need to stay calm under the pressure and not let their go the Coventry goal defence throw I'm, them off their game. I know what you're all thinking. You're all desperate to know what Becky Lloyd's favourite night at work is. It's pop, apparently. There's Kehoe. We'll start again. Work They're going to look for Holly now. She's going to, yeah, lovely turn in the air. Knowles. They're going to keep playing There's it round. There's space out yeah, here for Watts, ball. who's starting to move better in the second half. Gilson finds yeah, Becky, Becky Lloyd. Yeah, Becky's it. Who flips over to a shoddy. She keeps it in well. There's a space out wide for First Knowles. Ball, Knowles yeah, it's a great move Becky by Becky. Lloyd. Slots yeah. in. And Warwick bring back that five goal. Warwick are getting oh. their mojo back now. It's the the atmosphere is unbelievable. Now. Warwick trying to get back into this in game. It. Folwell. Yeah, it's great pressure. Kehoe. Oh, it's a poor pass from Kehoe. And Coventry opening a, a six point lead again. Apparently, Becky Lloyd will be listening to Dua Leaper before the match. I D G A F. Which, of course, means I don't give a fudge. As it's passed out to Knowles. Now yeah. into the centre. Oh, Becky Lloyd pressed by Coventry. Oh, interesting. Coventry back the ball. That's an unfortunate call for the girls. Great marking by Becky. She's going to get back on her player. They're going to put the pressure on the court now. It's 5 4 to Folwell. Holly's dropping back into the circle. Her and Kehoe put in double pressure. A shoddy too close. Call. Kiara Laker. Yeah, great pressure there by Sarah Kehoe. And it's Just a Warwick back Kiara line. Laker, the wig attack, firing too far forward. Georgia Gilson's wing attack's been called up. She's going to get some depth. Yep. Lovely. Gilson well taken. Finds a shoddy. There's space yep. for Watts now. Lovely. Here we She'll go. A lovely ball. Yeah. So now the substitute Lloyd yep. will have a go. Shoots yeah. and scores. <laughs> Becky's having a real impact. She promises she's, she's slot the, the shots pressure. and she is slotting the shots. Fall well into Money. Money's been on point all day. She's been bang on the money. As Coventry open up a six point lead. Knowles. Oh, she's given the contested ball by Georgia Gilson. Gilson. Oh, a little angle. Roll there. Expansive. It's expansive players. Knowles. Where are the options? Yeah, they're using go the back. back up. Jess oh, is coming shoddy. forward. What? They're going to keep playing it round. Becky needs to get in a better position. Drop now, the ball. Lloyd. Will she look yeah, down? She won't. Lloyd. Lloyd will have a go. Yeah, good. She's, she's dummied the goalkeeper. Off. She's getting well, called up. too much up. pressure from the Coventry player. That's Claire Fox, the captain. He's already been given a warning. Adio is lean. It's unbelievable. As Lloyd shoots yeah. and scores. It's end-to-end -end stuff. Come on. But Warwick need to start bringing this lead together. So we know there Warwick can act in those heavy pressure scenarios. We know they won by one point against Leicester. So it's important for them to get close. It's looking difficult, though. You look at Adio. She's yeah. such an excellent player. She's got a great lean. She's very physical, but also very clever. And her distribution is fantastic. As a shooter, Yeah, she back. is making an impact on court. She's making it hard for the girls in the circle, but I think Becky's doing well under the pressure. She's working around, staying calm. Heather's dropping back now, so you see they're going to let the defence bring the ball down and attack and focus on working it in the centre third. Gilson. Oh, going to tip over. And Coventry will escape now with a D.O. Finding space for the centre and into Paige Money. Will shoot and scores. 
That's a six point lead now, 15-9. Six goals, it's only three turnovers of the girls score from their centres. Here we go, they're working it round between them. Just needs to get down, it's too crowded. Look forward girls. Coventry again moving forward. Watts, the space yeah, for Knowles. The pocket. Knowles. Lovely. Could she find Lloyd? She'll find yeah, Watts. Yeah, great ball in. Watts will Watts keep it in. It on. Yeah, well Does kept well. on by Heather. Lloyd into a shoddy. Where's the space? Yeah, good backup used. That's a Pritchard. A shoddy. She's given the contested knocked ball. knocked out by Fox, the captain. Just as down, but she's move forward and the space for Falwell. Girls the money, who passes it back to Falwell. Oh. Falwell will shoot and Falwell will miss. Great That's tip by away. Sarah Kehoe. Georgia Gilson's picked it up. Now the girls need to settle it. Coming forward for the ball. Uh, that's footwork Watch there by Holly Pritchard. You can hear it when she landed. Took the extra step. Warwick men's cricket telling us it's all lies. I believe them. Oh, unlucky. Just try to... They need to put the pressure on now, girls. Falwell. Moving it around, another space for Dia, the Wasps player. Centre into Falwell. Yeah, Sarah Kehoe staying tight on her player. She's looking, Holly's staying tight as well. Great lean by Sarah Page and she money. jumped in it. Drops it in. And that opens up a big lead now for Coventry. who have the centre again. Falwell will move yeah, forward. Yeah, great pressure by Holly. Philomena Smith, the centre, has been star has been really starring in this game. She's all over the pitch. And we talk a bit about Dia. She's the Wasps player and she's done fantastically well as Warwick win the ball back but Philomena Smith yeah great offer there by Emma she saw they were stuck again the girls are struggling to get the ball down the court yeah Shoddy. great ball there by Into Jess Watts. she can find Knowles out wide yeah well Lloyd waited there in box. she'll go for the long shot will she know she'll find Knowles and she'll recycle and Lloyd That's great one too That's Lloyd will shoot there. and Lloyd will score <laughs> fantastic player from Lloyd as it's out to Karen oh, that's Laker. Unfortunate. Into Philomena Smith. What a great name. There's Paige Money on again. She's been slotting the shots all day and she only just missed that one. It's contact by the goal attack. Yeah, so it's a Warwick ball there. Kehoe will move it forward to Pritchard. Can Warwick get the ball moving? Gilson oh, no. will try and collect this, but it's sloppy play really from Warwick. Can't keep the ball in. I think the girls are feeling the pressure now. Yeah, and good pressure Coventry there by Emma. All the way over. So Covering it's the a space. game a bit sloppy here. I think the pressure is getting to the girls a bit. They just need to focus on their drives and save their energy. Yep, great ball there. She saw the over. The space was there. Knowles. Emma's is still there. She's from Pritchard. Working oh, shoddy. It around. Into Lloyd. Oh, Lloyd yep. can she, she keep that in? She does well so. Done. Where are her options though? It's all the way back to Pritchard, who's who is out Contact of her zone. Attack. She's goal defence. But there's a bit of Gilson. There's some infringement on Pritchard. There's a shoddy. The president finds Watts, the co one of the co-captains, I think vice-captain, as Knowles is found. A shoddy gives an option, but girls Pritchard is the option, and Knowles. Keep Where working it around. They gives see an Becky's there. They need to go, just needs to get round. They need to be an option. A shoddy is the option. It's obstruction. Is it Adio being too physical there on Becky Lloyd? Becky's going to look for the step, yep, and now she's going to shoot it. Yeah, That's lovely right. play by Becky. And what Becky Lloyd has added is in a similar stance to, to Money, Paige Money, is that she's slotting her shots and she looks confident, very confident indeed. You can see why That's she's so three highly rated seconds on the whole there. team. She's practicing her shots for the whole of the quarter. Yeah. Becky Coventry. is like, known for practicing her shots. She has got great shooting stats this season, so obviously it's paying off now as well. Philomena Smith into Falwell. Falwell to open up a lead. She misses. Too much contact there, and she'll have another option Sarah to open up the lead to seven, and she does so. Coventry fans looking confident. Warwick a little bit more subdued as Philomena Smith will start off. Knowles versus Smith is an interesting battle. They've both been all over the pitch, as you'd expect from a centre. Smith, though, is finding a lot of space as Paige Money fires out to Falwell. Oh, Falwell there by Holly. will shoot and she'll score. 18 turns Coventry now, and it looks difficult for Warwick to come back into this game. The girls can definitely get this back still. They just need to stay calm under the pressure. Yeah, lovely take by Becky. Chloe, She's can, I, can I just ask you, when you're eight points down in a varsity match, as it's getting physical there, a shoddy is yeah. flawed. It, it must be difficult to be able to come back, but do you think Warwick in the eight-point deficit can come back within eight the second quarter? Eight points very doable in a netball match. It's only, they score from every centre pass. It's four turnovers. The girls are getting physical, so they just need to be careful. As Adio. That's a good play from Claire Yeah, great Fox. there. Well in but there well by Georgia Gilson. Gilson. Blocking the play. 
Yeah, Georgia Adio. Gilson's an experienced player. She's going to push her player off the D now. Philomena Smith with some space. She'll find Adia, who's been all over the pitch. Falwell into Philomena Smith. You can almost know They're what's going to happen. Yes, Holly. Oh, oh, that's Falwell's unlucky there shoot. by Holly. Great pressure by Sarah Kehoe, the and they just on, can't get the rebound. Money. Won't have the chance. It's Kehoe. Finds Gilson. Again, the pressure from Coventry is amazing. And but the wing attack school for obstruction again. Over-pressuring a little bit. Gilson. Girls need to get the ball down the court now. The drives is looking a bit flat. Yeah, Jess coming forward. That's Shoddy. what we need down court. Warwick almost need a break Emma's now. Emma's looking for the There's space. Kehoe. Emma's there. Yeah, Holly's seen her. Gilson now. I think Warwick need a little bit of a break as Watts is found out wide. Where's the space? It's through to Gilson. He'll collect and she'll find a Shoddy. She'll the, find yeah. Lloyd. Is there space for Watts? There is space for Ooh. a Shoddy. Who can she find in the D? She'll find Knowles. And uh, Azio comes in again, and I tell you what, she it's is, amazing to think that a player like her could have played in, in yeah. Midlands 3A. I assume she'll be playing most of her games for Wasps, and, I, and she'll be a stalwart well, I'd assume of that um, Wasps team over the years. But she looks like a fantastic player. It's Philomena Smith intercepts. I did hear that the goal defence hasn't been playing. She's obviously been playing for Wasps, so I don't think she's actually been playing with Coventry this season. I watched Wasps so. about two weeks ago on the television. I yeah. think that's all you need to see about... What, I believe what she's she in adds. the under-21 squad. But she, yeah. she may be in the long squad, but still, Wasps are a great club. We, we know we've got yeah, great connections with the them. they won the Super League last year. Lucky of course, Warwick have done some sessions actually before Varsity with some of the Wasps players. Yeah, we had a session with Sam May, and last year we had one with Tamsin Greenway. Um, Sam May, yeah, wing defence goalkeeper, working with the girls. So, uh, That's a block there from the wing defence, but a shoddy will collect. Who can she find? Yeah, she'll find Watts. Watts with the chance to shoot. Yeah. No, she'll find well Lloyd. Seen Lloyd then, to shoot. Lloyd's blocked by Adio, but Lloyd will have another go. To bring it back to seven, she misses, but she'll have another one. Third time lucky for Becky Lloyd. Shoots, and this time oh, misses again. Becky. Adio Girls fires it down the court. put some pressure on down the court. Folwell. Coventry have got too much space now. Philomena Smith, Folwell. Yes, Emma Locked Knowles. Locked away by Knowles. Falwell is found. Philomena Smith. It's amazing to yep, think Coventry in a, a yes, lower division, actually. By and Coventry open up a nine-point lead. That was Falwell. Tall figure. And that is half-time. Half and Coventry have opened up a 19-10 lead. It's been a tough half for Team Warwick. But a very tough Chloe. I just say it's been a tough time, a tough time for Team Warwick. What can they do during half-time in this team talk to change it round? I think the girls just need to stay calm. They need to focus on coming forward on their drives, putting pressure on the ball as well when it comes down, obviously. Um, yeah, the goal defence is making a presence, but they just need to hold their space around the circle and keep moving around, so, yeah. Well, let's throw back to Jamie Lee Jenkins then, who's with our panel. It's been a tough game. I think it's a, it started a very fast game. I think it was like adjusting to the pace was the first bit. Yeah. Um, obviously, they, have, they haven't played each other before this year because they're in different leagues. Yeah. So, I think when you've played someone before, you kind of know how to play. So I think it's adjusting into the play first. Yeah, of it's all. it's very frantic, yeah. um, and it's there's a lot of uh, kind of crazy balls being given. Um, there's a lot of uh, three seconds being pulled up. So I feel like there's a little bit of panic setting in with the girls. They're not calming down um, and just focusing on their play. What they're doing is sort of pinging the ball, really trying to get it in to capitalise on on scoring goals. But actually, what they what they're doing is is making more mistakes. Um, yeah. I think the difficulty is um, especially uh, where our attack our attacking end and um, they're trying to give the over, uh, quite a lot of overhead loopy balls yeah. which aren't really going our way because they've got a really tall goldie and yeah. um, I think she might actually be the one that we think is the like underlying think, wasps I player think the wasp gold yeah. yeah and I was, I was gonna cool. ask like how are we seeing the fact that there is a I just think yeah. she's just got like she's got long limbs and, and she's long. using and she's using them yeah. and at the end of the day like the high balls speed as well you know yeah the high balls aren't going to go over um, so they made a change after the first quarter. They took Sophia off um, goal attack and yeah. put Becky on. Um, so she was getting some really, really good shots in. Um, but unfortunately, um, there's just not been sort of enough opportunities really to sort of tie, uh, to sort of uh, close the gap. It has been 
it has been good. I think I really think they can bring it back. They're a strong team. Yeah. But I think what always happens is, especially with COVID, with the varsity um, sort of hype and with the pressure, there's a lot of atmosphere. There's a lot of atmosphere. It's very, very rowdy, tense. Very like rowdy. everyone is getting a bit sort of sweaty. It's and very tense. Their own chance going as well. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, yeah. terse words being exchanged. Um, but yeah, they're just. I think they're just throwing it away quite a lot. The empires are so hot today. They're they're really on Very it. Right. A um, lot of footwork and um, and forced errors. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Contact. They keep noting on that. Yeah, I think it's just the pressure at the end of the yeah. day. Yeah, I was going to say, I think with it being like the live game, like we've just been talking to Ellie Martins of Sports Stuff, and she said that the live game there, there's a lot of pressure on both teams performing. And obviously that, that seems to be showing on the pitch, I think. Yeah. So in terms of the play, and there's been quite a lot of pressure coming from the Coventry teams, and they're getting quite pulled up quite a lot, and you've talked about that. So how do you think that the Coventry are performing, and how do you think they're going to go into the second half? I think I, yeah, good, good. Well, I was gonna say, I think that they from what I've observed they've got quite a consistent pace. I think they're not I think they they're kind of setting the pace for this game, I don't yeah. know if that's fair, but yeah. they seem very comfortable in where the ball's going to. I think as Ellie mentioned before, you know, they've got quite a few tall players, so they're quite comfortable doing the kind of over over balls and getting them and catching them and receiving them. And I think we're having to adjust to the kind of height differences, yeah. especially with yeah. like the tall goal defence we mentioned before. We are a very sort of short squad Dynamic, kind of but yeah. And even yeah. their so communication. Gonna, oh. Sorry, their communication, um, you can tell is moving really well because of the slick shots yeah. and uh, passes between themselves. I've really yeah. seemed to know where each other are going to be quite yeah. a lot. Um, yeah. And like I was saying earlier about that first ball that we should be giving, there's there's a lot of three seconds uh, call-ups, way more than we should be getting. So yeah. hopefully if they go in and sort of give a few faster balls, um, that can sort of make the play progress wow. a bit better. So I'm going to throw over to Analysis now with Chili, some more information about the game. All right, so we're just going to run through a few clips of the game. So this is the first Warwick goal. I just want to track the movement of this player here as she creates space. And then she realizes that there's a lot of space behind the defense, and which the defender does not realize. She's not aware of the situation. So as we play this now, she just quickly passes the ball, runs over to the other side, creating the space for her. And eventually she gets an easy shot. A nice way for Warwick to open the scoring. And this is another score, but this time from the other end of the court, so it was a nice fast break. And it's the quickness of the passes and the movement, which I really want to highlight here. As you can see, the Warwick player sees a lot of space in the open court, so she manages to make a nice dart across, creating a lot of space on the other side of the pitch. And she darts across, and it's the way that they pass the ball really quickly, and creating space for each other, and it leads a really nice team goal. Very nice, easy shot at the end of that. But as you've seen from the game, Coventry have been defending really well. And I want to highlight this play, where a moment, a moment where Coventry really defended very well. I want to highlight the defender here. Uh, she moves across, or across the play, really staying goal side of her goal and making sure that she doesn't get any chance to get touching the ball in a good area. And um, it's very good play. They denied her getting the shot away. Philomena Smith starts for Coventry, Coventry 19-10. I've just had a chat with a man behind me from Dodgeball. He's eating some sugar toast. So if you're down there, some of the guys from Warwick Sport are raising some money for Cancer Trust. Come down, I just had a lovely cupcake. It's rather nice, so come and donate. I'm going to be donating a couple of quid, it's a great cause. Heather Watts starts for Warwick now, 10 points behind, and Knowles. It's blocked by Philomena Smith. No changes. Well, no, I think there might actually got, one change. Yeah, so we've taken Sarah Kehoe who's gone to wing defence, Georgia Gilson's come off, and Lauren Tyler has come on at goalkeeper. I think that's done for a little bit more height in the circle. Kehoe, a very versatile player in defence. She moves into wing defence. She'll be up. Yes, and Jessa Shodi. Jessa Shodi doing well. Again. She's battling. Yeah. Kehoe, of course, the captain, influential player. I think they know the importance of Folwell in front uh, of the Warwick defence. And it'll be interesting to see if she can counteract that physicality and quality. See how tall Falwell is. There's a space now for Paige Money. She'll slot. Yes, she misses. Yes, a great rebound there by Holly. It's great Pritchard. pressure by the defence. And Lauren Tyler's first shot of the game. Yeah, great ball there. Kehoe finds Tyler. Tyler out to Knowles, but it's over the top. We'll find more, a little bit more information about Lauren Tyler in just a second. What will she bring to the game though, Chloe? Lauren's a very calming influence and again she's got that height so I think she'll put the pressure on. She's worked with Holly before last year, they were both in the twos, now working together in the ones. I think it's nice as well having Kehoe wing defence, she's 
puts a lot of pressure on as well. So, yeah, and keeping the captain on. Falwell shoots and scores. That's an 11-point lead for Warwick now. We wonder about Lauren Tyler. She's 5 foot 8. Her, her nickname is Crazy Laws, and she's a third-year management student from Bedford. Oh, I love Bedford. She'll be playing in goal defence. She'll also play a goalkeeper as Money will have the chance to slot. Doesn't so, and the rebound's won by Tyler. So that's Pritchard, sorry, and Tyler will start now out to Pritchard. Unfortunate there, Coventry trip by Sarah Kehoe. There's space for Philomena Smith, finds money. Smith again, space yep, out wide. Lauren's keeping the pressure on her player. She's going to want to push her player out now. Yeah, There's great lead money there again. by Holly. Money shoots, money scores. 12 point lead up now, and it's not looking good for Warwick. No, don't say that. We have to stay positive. They can still come back from this. Yeah, well taken by Sarah Kehoe. Just finds Holly Pritchard. Dress is free. They're not finding her. Heather Watts. It's obstruction there by goal defence. That's a lucky break from them. They can use the free player. Oh, yeah, great ball there. Heather Watts shoots. Heather Watts scores. Yeah. And it's only 11 point. We asked Lauren Tyler where we'd find her at 3 a.m. on a Thursday morning. Apparently, she'd be in Viali's. Yeah, she is a fan of Viali's. Also, her favourite song of pop is Africa by Toto. Yeah. yeah, she's also the social sec for netball, so she takes our circles on a Wednesday. So yeah, Philomena you can Smith. see her in pop quite often. Pritchard will collect, but there'll be another go for Falwell, who'll shoot and she'll score this time. 12 points, if you didn't pick that up, it's of course 3 a.m. on a Thursday morning. Nobody goes to the Arleys on a Thursday morning for brunch. As a doctor shoddy looks over for Knowles, but it's too far. That was an ambitious ball there, it's just got thrown off the sideline. Yeah, great pressure there by the girls. They're going to work it round now until they're ready. Watts out wide yeah, for Knowles, the space. Emma. Great ball to Becky. Becky Lloyd gets even closer. It's an infringement, shoots and scores. 11-point yeah. lead for Coventry. Warwick still behind their team. Great to see. Apparently Lauren Tyler would have been listening to Little Mix before this to get herself pumped for the game. Oh, the yep, getting she does too love close the classic Radio. pop tune. She does love the chart music. Falwell, out wide to Paige Money, there'll be some space, oh, but unfortunate timing Niles can't now. get there, Philomena Smith, she'll find Falwell, follow her with a long shot, she shoots and she scores, it's unbelievable play from Coventry, double the amount of points Warwick have and Falwell has had a huge influence on this game. Great take there by Jazz, she sees Emma, lovely ball there, great ball into Becky, Becky's going to play it round so she can get closer, contact's been called. A shoddy. Oh no, oh, just poor throwing from her the ball and away will then. Pick that out. If you're wondering a bit more about Lauren Tyler, she's also social sack of the club. So yeah. she should be allowed influence and she's all over money. He yeah. collects now within the D, there's space for Falwell. Falwell up against Pritchard, Falwell shoots and Falwell missed. Yeah, the well up there, good Tyler. rebound by Lauren. Kehoe now. That's going to be there's obstruction a real there. There's a real yeah. defensive structure I feel for work in this half with Kehoe and Tyler coming space. in into different positions. Yeah, it, yeah a little lovely little drive. Physicality, I think, Chloe. Well, I can see it there. I think Gilson, Gilson as well as she played, what adds with Lauren Tyler a bit more of a physical presence, I guess, which is important, especially against a tall side like Coventry and Money yeah. to shoot. And Again, she'll miss this the experienced time. player doesn't feel the pressure. Page Money shoots and Page Money scores. Philomena Smith out wide. She finds Folder. Yes, Pritchard and well in by Holly and unfortunately. Knowles. Knowles is down, but she'll get back up. The girls need to stay calm now. It is getting physical. We love a physical game of netball. Emma There's looks like that. Knock has taken it out of her. Yeah, great drive though. She's back in. She's ready to go. They're bringing the ball down the court using Emma on the left. Lovely. Knowles. Yeah, good Into control Kehoe. by Kehoe, slowing the game down. What's a shoddy who's a black belt in jiu-jitsu. So I wouldn't mess with her if you're listening anyone from the poly. That's Watts. We'll find Knowles. It's blocked by Adio. Lloyd crumbling back. She loves a physical battle. It's Becky Lloyd and she'll... Becky Lloyd getting physical there. She is known to be a bit aggressive on court. She finds Watts with a good fake pass. Shoots and misses. And it's won by Fox, the captain. It's fired wide to a Dio. That's going to be footwork there, yeah. It's the Warwick ball. Girls need to just stay calm now and come forward. Yeah, great ball there. She's found Jess. Knowles into Watts. Watts. 
Looks for Knowles again. It's going to be contact, yeah. Knowles will have They're a free pass. They're going to work it around. They need to drill the defenders out. Becky Lloyd. Becky Lloyd up against Fox. She'll take another step and have a go. And she'll shoot and she'll score. Again, back to this 12-point deficit for Warwick. The fans still completely behind the team. But it looks like a struggle to get back into this one as Knowles gets the centre of Shoddy. Yeah, well played there by Jess. Chance. Wing defence got her arm across her, so it's called... And the goal attack's called for obstruction as well. They're going to send it to Jess. Spike for Shoddy. Yeah, There's space great for Watts ball. as well. Watts will shoot now, will she? Fox on the lean. It just tips twice off and Lloyd just has no chance to Just don't have the height for those rebounds. Great play by Becky. For Becky Lloyd, there seems to be man-marking the Wasps player, who is a good four or five inches taller than her. As it's fired wide to Philomena Smith. She'll look for space within the D. She finds Falwell just inside. Yes, it's blocked great by Knowles. Lovely now, there by Emma. Knowles, can she look up the field? She'll find Kehoe. Quick play as Pritchard's in the game. Slow down a little bit. Shoddy will find Watts. They're Watts slow now. The ball down, not force it in now. Yeah, yeah, they're using for. their back up. They're just going to work it around the circle. It's good to recycle Holly. the ball here as Pritchard finds Girls Lloyd. Girls need to move. Oh, that's unfortunate. Call for footwork there. But it's nice to see that Warwick is still keeping calm. Still trying to recycle the ball. And you know, and some play some incisive netball. Yeah, the ones have got great fighting spirit. They can come back from this. It's not, yeah. Oh, unfortunate there by Lauren. And Paige Manuel shoots and Paige Manuel misses. Yes, and great rebound. And Kehoe Kehoe's going to pick collect. it up. She's going to calm the play down now. They just need to settle it. No. Knocked out by Philomena Smith. Smith now. Watts trying Girls. to put pressure on. Warwick are really camped back now. Yeah. As yeah, she makes a very, Sarah very comfortable and confident netball. Yeah. Knowles. Yeah, great pressure there by defence. But Paige Money still She's will have the chance to one. shoot. She'll have the chance to score, oh. but it's misses somehow. Four oh, runs. Her foot was out. Has she scored? I don't think she has in the end, count. actually. It looked like a fantastic play from Folwell. I almost feel sorry for it to be ruled out. It was awesome, some fantastic netball, but unfortunately, I think she just infringed as Kehoe. Is getting frustrated about the lack of options, and now Coventry will have the ball from the infringement from Kehoe. Philomena oh, Smith. Unlucky. Emma's She'll look for space within. She'll look for Farwell. Yeah, she pressure. looks back for. So yeah, and this poor old Shoddy has been knocked off that a little bit. Yes, and that's great pressure there by defence. One of the men's cricket lot just it just reminded me about the way that um, Halima Adio is doing. All she does is stand on the edge of the D and then just stop the ball leaving it. If, it, if Warwick even dare move up the field as Watts finds some space. You look how quick Halima Adio is. She's yes, a great the ball back. there by Becky Jess. Lloyd Lovely, now. she's gone to Becky. Becky yes, Lloyd shoots so Becky Lloyd scores. 11 point deficit now. Warwick slowly coming back into it. Slowly but surely. You know who won the race? It was the tortoise. Yeah, slow and steady does win the race. Coventry will go to sleep for the whole of the final quarter. Oh, Falwell unfortunate collects. there. Falwell shoots and Falwell scores. And even after that great move, Warwick still a long way behind. It's Knowles. Finds great Pritchard. Great support there by Holly on the centre. Philomena Smith can't get out that one. Knowles. They're going to need to work it round. Finds Just Pritchard. A shoddy. Yeah. It's blocked by Philomena Smith. Into the wing defence. So that's Good Kiara effort there Laker. by Becky. And then Lucy Bostock. Haven't mentioned her name yet. She's been quite yes, very, very efficient. Yes, great tip there by Emma. The wing attack has been very efficient. I mean, uh, just the influence. Yes, great like pressure that. there by Emma and Kehoe. Lovely. You see, you see Bostock and Laker just working around the edges to try and break up play. And they've done a very efficient job. Coventry win the foul again. Halima Adio, who... Just seems in a different league to be perfect. That's probably she plays in a different league. She doesn't actually play for Coventry and Bucks, she actually plays for Wasps for the long squad. Wasps specifically want to play Super League netball, which is professional netball. And uh, Falwell shoots and scores there. Work, of course, by Buck Midlands 2A. So she's coming from a different world, a different field. And Coventry Smith are lucky on that one. Philomena that should Smith have been called for repossession. Huh? Someone else has taken the centre now, are they? Uh, no, she got called for obstruction, so the centre was taken, but Emma Philomena was too Smith. close. Paige Manuel shoot. Paige Manuel miss. Yes, great rebound there by Holly. Out. Yeah, she's seen Lauren. Lauren Tyler now, can she? Great ball there to Emma. Knowles. A shoddy, a shoddy. Fires over. Yeah, Kino. lovely bringing Watts. the ball down the court there. Long pass for a shoddy who collects. It's into what's again, but Adio collides with the goal Contact post. Contact on the post. You what, I think the post came off significantly worse from that collision. That's Watts. That's the ball again. Adio is just too 
She's just too tall and too strong. And to be honest, too clever to let that pass her. As Lauren Tyrell Becky slots Lloyd through. scoring again, and now it's a Warwick centre. Let's see if they can convert the goal. Knowles. This is Warwick's opportunity, I guess, to get back within a 10 goal deficit. Needs something special from here. That's how that idea will start from that infringement. And uh, we find by the wing attack, who today is Lucy Bostock. Yes, Paige and Ellen And lucky she went offside, but it was a good tip anyway. Philomena Smith will find money. She just bounces it to her. Money finds Folwell. Great Folwell lean there by Tyler. Lauren. Tyler. So it's and it's out of court. I'm not sure she has. Oh, the umpire hasn't has. called it. Yeah, no, it has gone out of court. Yeah. Tyler said, when we asked, what can we see from Lauren Tyler on the on the court? She said, that lean though. And yeah, to be honest, very I can see true. that straight away. As Pritchard goes tumbling to the you floor. You can see her staying calm and she is known for her bun. Kehoe into Tyler. She's actually wearing a very similar bun, kind of tie on her hair to what Gilson was wearing. It's Knowles. Yeah, I think the girls did have ribbon in their hair for the Team Warwick spirit, but obviously it does fall out in these situations when they are being contacted and falling over. As Becky Lloyd slots in another one. Becky Lloyd been silently brilliant as she's come on. Team Warwick getting behind the Warwick team as they go. Kehoe being called the physicality against Bostock. Kehoe versus, I think Kehoe really wants a physical battle to be honest. So it's replayed I'm not there by sure goal attack. I'm she's worrying about Bostock moving down the field. I think she's more worried about Bostock moving at all as Pritchard oh, will be unable to keep this in. Unfortunate there by Holly. This is Holly's first varsity but she's doing well under the pressure. She's got a lot of energy that girl despite her broken pancreas as you, know, you we, said we have before. To go, I think that needs to be explained at some point later on to be perfectly honest with you. Is Folwell will find space and Folwell will shoot and Folwell will miss. Yeah, it's collected by great. Tyler. Great defence. Apparently, the umpire's name is Sean. His that's name is actually Ken. Is it? It's Ken. Right, it's Ken and it. Anita Ken. we have umpiring today. And that's well held by Emma. And that's Two unfortunate. Two girls down with their back up. The Fighting shoving. spirit by Warwick. The umpires have been strict today. There's been a lot of fouls. Of course, umpires on both sides of the court. As Adio again, the distributor. The playmaker, Bostock, finding angles for Folwell. Folwell will shoot. Folwell's yeah, Folwell's great tip there by Laura, and she Folwell's tips it out, putting the pressure on. They have to work it back into the D. Philomena Smith, unfortunate call, obstruction call there. Philomena Smith, yeah, so, uh, great Folwell's marking there. Dropped off a little bit, but Paige Money will Looked have the like chance to shoot, to and Paige Money will miss again. The oh, unlucky. Commentary, unfortunately, whenever they do miss, yeah, they seem to get the ball back when Warwick miss. Hannah Matt Adio is all the pressure over on her player. Bostock into Page Money. Page Money will shoot and Page Money will score. That'll be a centre this time for Emma Knowles to take. As Coventry open up that 12 point lead. A shoddy now. It's a wing attack. President of Work Netball of course. They need the backup. She's had to go all the way back to Holly there. A shoddy. It's Knowles. Watts will find Knowles again. Is there space yeah, for great ball there straight into Becky. She's going to play it round to get a better and angle. BJ will shoot. She'll find a little bit of space. Yeah, the shot will be taken. Yeah, score. and it counts. And we go into that. the quarter with some positivity here from Warwick University. Yes, they're 11 points behind. Yes, they're in a little bit of trouble. Yes, they might not win varsity. But you know what? I think they have shown some quality. I don't know, I think they're settling in now, so the girls can definitely still bring it back. It's only six turns. We have been joined by Ladies Hockey, and now we are here with men's football. So, uh, what's your netball knowledge like, guys? <laughs> well, we've been down to uh, every home match we can be this season, so we've built up quite a pretty good we quite won, a sense of knowledge. Yeah, we yeah. won the uh, netball charity tournament last year, so. Oh, that's all right then, excellent. Pretty decent, yeah. So, uh, how have you been finding the game so far? I think we, we started off very well. Um, Probably lost that way a bit. They've got they've got a professional bees player in the back. <laughs> Wasp, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it, we're still hanging in. I think there's still still a chance. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's quite hard to be on the sideline when you're like getting pumped. Yeah. <laughs> I think like just give us a bone. Like that's all. That's all we're after. A little. Yeah. Three or four goals in a row. We might might get involved a bit more. Do you think they're really feeling the pressure now? Can you see that in the play? 
Yeah, they seem a bit stressed out. Like. Yeah. I think so, but there's a, there's a lot of experience in this side, so I think that in, <laughs> in, in, in the fourth quarter that will, that will definitely shine through. Not yeah. playing cliches or anything, though. <laughs> no, I mean, that, that's fine. That's fine. So, um, can Warwick come back? Like, realistically, do you think in 15 minutes we can pull this back? 12 goals is a lot. Probably, is, I'm, I'm going to say lot. probably not. You don't think so? Uh, no. I, I think Kehoe's got the talent. Um, I think she can get her team together and we can definitely do a job in the fourth quarter, yeah. So how's the atmosphere around around the ga- game? <laughs> I haven't really heard cough so far, but it seems to be pretty good down in the Warwick section. See, I've been, I've been hearing quite a bit from uh, quite a bit from Cov up there. <laughs> <laughs> they were uh, no, they've they've got some pretty like rude yeah. chants. We I would mean, say. it's yeah. it's easy when you're winning though. When you're winning, they easy, really yeah. only do sing when they're winning. So that, that's true. That is true. Um, varsity in general, then, how has it been so far for you guys? What have some of your highlights been? Uh, I, I think it's been good. We, uh, we went down and watched the cricket today. Uh, they were successful there, so it's good, yeah, nice good to see that. Um, yeah, shame about the basketball yesterday, but overall we seem to, do, seem to be doing pretty well. Yeah, it's a confidence. Yeah, do you think this is a pivotal match for Varsity? Uh, no, I, no. I, 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 think, I think we're far enough ahead at I the moment. Think it's a problem. We've been doing <laughs> yeah. a good job. Uh, it would have been lovely to see. Well, it will be lovely to see him win in the fourth quarter, but um, it won't be. It won't optimistic, be the defining moment. Very yeah, yeah, gotta be. Yeah, I think we've got some good like games coming up tomorrow as well, where Warwick are really strong. So yeah. I think. Um, yeah, such as men's football. Be right. <laughs> yeah. Such as such as men's football. Varsity finale get down. When, Eight p.m. Eight p.m. Four G. Yeah. Get involved. Yeah. <laughs> Shameless shout out there, nice. Um, so will it be, will basically, are we going to make it a 28th year of winning? 100%. Yeah, no, probably by the end of the day, I think no we'll wrap it up. Like, yeah, no question. So? No question at all, yeah. Shouldn't okay, so what are we looking, what do you think is going to happen within the next 15 minutes? What sort of play do you think we're going to see? Well, we've got nothing to lose, so I think it's going to be attacking. We've got to go for it. Uh, yeah. Just be right in the mix. Uh, they'll, be, they'll, either, they'll either bring it back quite close or like get absolutely done on the counter and lose by like 20 goals. So. Yeah. Of course, we've got our style go up front, Becky Lloyd. She'll yeah. be doing bits. Yeah. I think it's been quite a lot more physical than I expected the game. Have you guys, have yeah. you guys noticed that? First side couple of the minutes, they were really like, yeah. yeah. Well, fab, thank you so much. We are going to go back to Ed now for more commentary. Thank you. See you tomorrow, eight. Oh, thank you very much, Jamie. Well, I can tell you, Warwick are going to win last year. There's no doubt about that. In fact, I think their coronation will be ladies hockey, which is starting later on. We're 24.8 up on the official website. We're apparently with one man's tennis as well. So even if Coventry pull off this huge victory, Varsity is over for them. They sent out a video, actually, before Varsity happened, saying, we've got a game on our hands. We, we have got a game on our hands. Severe Bassi back on, but we don't really have a game on our hands for Varsity, because yet again, Warwick have won on the Saturday, which is disappointing for the competitiveness. Becky's you look how competitive over, this back team up, are, but There we go, Severe Bassi into Knowles. Advantage contact in the over Abassi, to Sophia. Correct. Abassi Sophia's shoots. back on. Abassi Becky's come to goal attack. Yes, but Warwick will win Varsity. The Coventry supporters are above me, behind me, the football team who gave their lads a bit of stick for being on air. Bless them. Sophia Abassi will have a third go now. Can she score? She does yeah. so. There we go. Confidence boosting shot for Warwick. Ten goals behind. It's the Warwick centre. This is it. This is the comeback we've been looking for. Becky's going to bring some dynamic... Oh, That's too far ball. for a shoddy. Get ambitious there. Come on, I just say I admire how confident you are in your side, despite the slight issues. Let's, let's just stay on the positives. That we, we've won a lot of events today: cricket, tennis. So you know, we have another ball now. This is our chance. This is when the girls going to bring it back. It's definitely it's going to be a close one. I can tell you that, Ed. Pritchard That's again, put down sec. by has been on the Falwell. Falwell this Falwell goal attack on the back. is very contacty. It is a non-contact sport. It's a obviously. non-contact sport, but we love contact, don't we? Uh, the don't, new you're, rule is you're, contesting, you're, you're pre- so you can Your president is a black contact. belt in jiu-jitsu. I don't, feel, I don't feel you should not like the physical side. So Dia, again, is brilliant. A shot, um, unfortunately, Warwick she have been lucky missed there with that a call. few steps there, and a shot will have the chance to try and create something for Warwick. She'll find Knowles as they're spaying the centre for they're Lloyd. There is the yes, Bassey, great who's move forward, there. The Shoots, and she scores. And it's contact on the post, where the advantage has been here played. Here it is then, Chloe. Right, here it is. Is this the big comeback? This is the comeback we've been looking for. Nine goals in it. Yes, and Sarah Key has got the tip. The pressure is on. Warwick have performed. And she's out of call. Yes, here we go, Warwick. It's weird. We, I've always thought I'm a positive personality, yeah, but standing next to, to Emma. Today, it's been very confusing for me. 
Yes, and the girls are now holding their space instead of doing unnecessary drives. And oh, unlucky. Right, this is theirs to get back now. Adio. Fire out wide. Yeah, Becky's putting great pressure on her player. Coventry slowly building forward. Yes, oh, a lovely turnover by, by Noles, Emma. who's been brilliant today. And there's space for Lloyd, who's now goal attack. Release. Yeah, so find good. Kiho, the space for Pritchard now into. Yeah, the girls have settled the now. They're not playing any silly balls. And Too much time though. And Noles seconds. didn't have an option. What happens next in Warwick's season then? In the netball, we have one game left, so even if um, our ones don't win today, our twos are actually playing Coventry twos in week 10 for the last game of the season. So varsity round two, and I'm sure, yeah, so it's just the one game left of the season now, and then we'll, no more training in term three either, but we do have our charity tournament, which will be for child.org. Falwell shoots and Falwell scores, so open up the 10 goal lead again. Yeah, Men's Becky's cricket out shouting, the find the space. A Sophia Batty out, is out wide. A shoddy finds Becky Lloyd. Is pushed around. Yeah, into a shoddy. Lloyd will shoot. See that a lot she from Becky. She Adio goes for the spin. Wins the tap. Yes, and Sophia's put great pressure on. That's footwork, surely. Come on, Ken. Oh, come on, Kev. Yes, Emma. You see the girls are putting the fighting spirit in. They're not letting this one go. Knowles with a good tap. Yep, great pressure by Emma. Putting pressure on, but Falwell will fire this out wide. And it's footwork by the goal attack. Warwick have got no opportunity to close this gap. Coming towards the end of this game. Holly's going to keep moving around her player. She's got two on her, and she still gets the ball. Good play Lovely there from ball Knowles. Down to Emma. And Knowles, of course. First ball into Becky. Finds Becky Lloyd. Lovely, Knowles, yeah. Lloyd, Lloyd, shot. Lloyd scores. And yeah. Back to the nine, Warwick. This is the one they're going to turn the centre now. They're really looking for that turnover. Really help. And great pressure by the girls. Had to go back. Fire out wide and m money now. Yeah, great pressure. Again, yes, nearly Holly. A shot from Fowell is off the top. But Fowell collect again. She'll shoot to regain the 10 point lead and she does so. <laughs> Knowles into a shot. And shoddy. it's breaking by Jess. Interesting call. Whistle wasn't blown soon enough in my opinion. Damn. Yeah, great marking by Becky. Philomena Smith. Adio will find space all over the court today. Oh, Becky's Falwell, down. who's just been just as good. Yeah, and a shoddy will the get the tap. Unfortunately, I'm offside, but we go again. Coventry with a 30-20 lead. It's not been a high-scoring game, I'd say, today. Warwick have put 50 points past teams in the last couple of weeks, and uh, Paige Money extends the lead to 11. It's coming to the end of Varsity 2018 for Warwick Women's Netball. They'll be disappointed with this result as Falwell. Yeah, Looks great marking there the by Holly. D. And it's footwork by the goal attack. Warwick have got another opportunity to convert this. Tyler. Kehoe's holding her space. Yeah, lovely drive. Oh, well held by Kehoe there. Knowles will look forward. She finds Kehoe. She'll Girls find need out to get depth charge. on their drives and come forward. Ball's been taken back. Pritchard will take this by one. By the goal though. attack. Where are her Jess options? Needs to get and down. Her They're playing option. very high. They need to get down. Becky's playing out of the circle. They're Becky creating Lord. that space in there for Sophia. Abassi is blocked off by Adio, who's calm. That and was it's two three long, seconds. It? Great pressure Mahir, by Warwick. The first team captain. Coventry don't want to give the ball. They know the every game. second Thank matters. You. I think you might have saved us a point there. Well played. A shoddy it's fires out to Knowles. Well held by Emma. A shoddy. A shoddy. First ball in. Here we go. Up it goes. And it's Blocked contact off. by goal defence. And Sophia Abassi will fire this to Becky Lloyd, who has the chance to shoot. She does so. Oh, unlucky and there. And Penguins. Uh, sorry, Fox, the captain, wins that. And she'll have the chance to start again. Great marking here by Becky. She's not letting the height difference throw her. Oh, nearly Becky, nearly. Adio. Yes, a great tip there by Sarah Kehoe. Good play you from Kehoe. see that Kehoe. fighting spirit. She's carrying the team. That is why she's captain. But Coventry will start again with this imperious 11-point lead. Falwell, who's been just yes, as impressive as Yes, and Sarah Adio. Kehoe again. Falwell's been a great presence in this game. Foul throw. She stepped over. Yeah. Oh, unfortunate obstruction call just before she stepped on court. 
Page and money. Contact goal shooter. Warwick has got another opportunity. Yes, and a lovely re offer there by Sarah Kehoe. Oh, and it's unfortunate. Folwell collects and Lawrence, page money now. We'll have a shot, ooh, but it's fine for Folwell. Down again. Folwell shoots and Folwell scores. Folwell has played brilliantly today. Knowles finds a shoddy. A shoddy Great into Abassi. Abassi finds Lloyd. Here we go. Lloyd will have a go. Lloyd shoots. Misses. Abassi though. Great rebound there Here by Sophia. With a shot. Abassi. Abassi and misses. Becky Lloyd will try and keep it in, but no contact call there. Fox now. Becky's not letting will this. Move away. Becky. Oh, unlucky there by Jess. Close. Great marking by Becky. Adio though will come in. Yes, Jessica comes Jessica in well. and Shoddy. Showing her presence, the president as it's fired into Abassi was blocked by Fox. Girls need to stay calm now and not force the ball in. Jessica so here it wait is. for the ball to be passed. She doesn't want to go offside. Oh, uh, Adio picks it past the Shoddy. How mean! Booze ring around the circle. That's not very sportsmanlike, is it? As Lloyd finds Knowles, a shoddy. A shoddy finds Here Knowles. Here we go. Yeah, There's Sophia's holding. A bassy. Arm across the goal of Shooter. Bassy now. Umpire's There's not space call back it. wide for a shoddy, but no options in the centre. And Coventry win there. that one. Philomena Smith. This is the one Sophia's going to put pressure that. on the ball. Fox, a bassy yeah, putting her under pressure. Great pressure there by Becky. Great on. Philomena Smith looking down the field. Falwell's the option. Falwell's there, and there's some space for money. She'll fire out to Philomena Smith. It's an infringement, and Warwick though. Got the opportunity again. Tyler. Coventry have made mistakes today. There's no doubt about that. Coventry have made a lot of mistakes in this quarter. The girls are doing well. They're just feeling the pressure, trying to get the ball into the shooters. That's why they're working it around. They're not going to force it in. And oh, that is unfortunate in, for Becky. Fox will start again yeah, for great Coventry marking University. by Becky. Yes, oh, an unfortunate one. Couldn't quite Smith. make Sarah Keogh. But and yes, Emma. There. Lloyd now, there's some unfortunate. space. Unfortunate, just been there's called it. for obstruction. Jumped in too soon. Coventry will have the ball again. They'll recycle out wide to Philomena Smith, the centre, who's been fantastic. And she's out of court. Paige Money's done that three times this huh, in this quarter. Tyler will look downfield. Yes, Sarah Kehoe re-offering. Well taken there. Kehoe, the captain, finds Knowles. Great ball to Becky. And to Becky Lloyd. Becky oh, and Adio will keep it over Knowles. And she's out of court. They're going to play it round here. So here's Abassi then. Abassi. Jess is working and holding her space. Send options. it to Becky. She finds Knowles. We're going to want to find Becky now. We're going to go back. She plays it out to Kehoe. There's some space for Knowles now. They're going to keep using their backup. They're not going to force the ball in. They know shoddy. every moment is precious. Back into Kehoe. Back Same to Knowles space. now. Sophia's back in. Sophia's in the Abassi. D. Will Abassi shoots. She's Where are options? Go round. Too much time. Abassi has set the shot there really. Yeah, the girls are struggling. I think the shooters as well don't want to be shooting from too far out. They know every shot counts. Moving forward now. Coventry. Adi yes. Is taking and it's three seconds. Great pressure there by the girls. Sarah Kehoe is going to try and take it quickly. The girls are going to have to turn and react. Kehoe finds a shoddy down the world will she a shoddy tries Unlucky to keep it in there. but can't wing attacks arms put, put pressure on the ball Fox yes and Sophia Abassi has an excellent tip Abassi starts to source surely Abassi shoots Abassi misses an unfortunate miss Claire there Fox for Sophia Becky has been pushed Adio. over again back up she is fighting spirit Fox out and it's footwork let's go Warwick Here, here's Warwick's chance to bring it within 11 Oh, it's and they're going to get told Warwick, off for really, kicking that net Warwick ball will later. win varsity, probably with the ladies' hockey tonight. It's a bassy. It's all finds still to Lloyd. play for. Lloyd with space up against Fox. Lloyd scores! <laughs> Becky Lloyd with the goal for Warwick. Within 11. Yeah, great marking by Holly and Kehoe in the centre. Just pressuring the pass as well. Men's cricket are on the strongbow dark fruits. I can't blame them. I rather fancy one myself. It's been a depressing afternoon here great for Warwick. Great tip there by Emma. Philomena Smith finds Falwell, who's been flawless all yeah, day. He shoots and misses. Page money, though. Money shoots and money scores. <laughs> I bet good money on her scoring generally. Knowles. Great off the shot. A shoddy will try and find space. And it's held ball. Unfortunate. Another the girls have very just unfortunate lost their focus one. then. It's amazing, Chloe, how so many of these penalties are unfortunate. As it's fired forward, great the shoddy will keep it out. Great arms. Fires it forward. Ball. Lloyd is kept out by Adio, who's been fantastic. 
It's footwork. Now she goes turn, and she fires the ball away. Hello. Hello. Send her off. The penalty has Manus been advanced. Quickly. Becky Lloyd. Oh, Here we go, shot. this is the one. Lloyd. Oh, this is his tap. Adio comes away again, though. Adio does not look very happy. Is there any really chance if she oh, fouls again, there. we could get 10 points? Probably not, There's I assume. There's no chance on that, but she might get a warning soon if she doesn't rein in the contact. Well, it would be nice to have a warning against her. I feel that would bring her down to earth, given she's much better than every player on the court. As Smith finds Falwell, who's also been brilliant. Yes, an excellent tip there by Emma Knowles. No one else tips that one. And Coventry it's off the sideline. Coventry will have that one. Finds Falwell, who's been everywhere. So it's from Philomena Smith, and she finds Paige Money. Paige Money against Tyler. Paige Money wins that battle. Ah, she's been winning all game, and suddenly it's unlucky 13 for Warwick. And fired forward. And yep, and Holly, oh, unlucky there for Holly. We were hoping at half time it would be game of two halves Warwick, I say Warwick have been slightly better defensively I think since their change well in bringing in Lauren Tyler has been good I think bringing Kehoe into the, more, more into the midfield has helped yes. but at the same time Kehoe has been putting great pressure on in the centre court and I think as well Lauren got that great high goal shooters holding on to Holly you see without Adio I think she's been the difference the defensive prowess she's shown also yep. Nicole Well and Money have been fantastic and I'd almost say that those shots that sometimes Warwick have missed and Coventry have just put in over and over again have been the difference. We might even ignore a deal, however good she's been. Great There's ball there. Lloyd will shoot. Yeah, she's dummied it. Lloyd scores. Yeah, well done, Becky. That brings her in within this 12. This is it again. Here we go. Another opportunity for Warwick. So this I'm is the sure final opportunity left. for Warwick, really, to, well, I say get back into this, bring it back to it within 10 that would sound nice as a bassy is tipped away by fox the captain the girl's going to want to be closing this people gap are lining now. up behind me Knowles, a bassy will shoot and she'll oh, miss and he'll be kept there. by adio the coventry fans are surprisingly silent i hope that's just they're bored of their success or well, they're confused because they don't have the success usually of course well oh, they're going to win there by lauren Fired out wide. No, trying to keep the push. Unlucky, Emma Smith. nearly had that one, and it's Fall out well. of court again. Warwick back line. Here we go. They're going to bring the ball down. Wing attack is pushing Kehoe. Got arm across forward. her. That is not allowed. I don't know if Coventry fans are just confused as what to do when they win. Do they celebrate? Are they sportsmen? -like? And this is going to be the last How opportunity. Time's going to be. I reckon there's five seconds left. They need to send it in, and that is going to be the final that's whistle. It. That is the game. end of Netball Varsity 2018 at Coventry are the winners, 34-22. They run onto the pitch in their success. One team, one team, dream. And again, Raw 12.51am picks a game that Warwick University loses. That's no surprise. They're running onto the court. Of course, I'm sure in about 10 minutes they'll realise that Warwick are going to win Varsity. They're only celebrating. In approximately an hour. They're only that's winning finally one thing. So finally, Chloe... What we say about Warwick's performance, they're being clapped off. A final word on your on their season. I think the girls have to be very proud. They played very well, and at the end of the day, the defence was too strong for our shooters. Well, thank you very much for thank joining me, for Chloe. Me. Disappointing result for Warwick today, but hopefully better for the rest of Varsity. Stay tuned to Raw 12:51 and follow us at Warwick underscore Varsity and keep involved with the conversation. I've been Ed Farrer, and I'm going to throw it back to our lovely panel. I just want to say thank you, everyone on the panel, for being so brilliant, and thank you, Jamie. Who I'm going to throw it back to now. Thank you very much, Ed. So that is that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. how, how are we all feeling? Is it a surprise result? Um, I mean, it's it's very surprise. Surprise. Yeah. 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 I don't think it's necessarily a surprise, like having watched the game. Yeah. yeah. It's always difficult to tell with varsity. Like every, you know, every year you just can't tell who's going to come out on top. Um, Today, unfortunately, Cov were the better team. They did win. You know, yeah. it's it's never a good feeling, especially no, at home, especially because the girls are putting so much hard work. But you know, it is what it is. So Zara, welcome to you. Um, where do you think Warwick went wrong? Like, at what point? I mean, I don't think there's anything you can really pinpoint in terms of how Warwick played. I think when it comes to watching the game, you notice that Coventry having their wasp player, it has such that, you know, she really had such a presence as goal defence yeah. and the goal defence had such an integral role in interceptions and yeah. passes. 
and you know that could go either way with boosting Coventry's confidence but also intimidating the Warwick players. Yeah. So Nancy, we've, I think we've got to talk about the Wasp player. What do you yeah. think about her presence on the pitch today? I mean, she she was she was a good player. She was you know goal, goal defense is a really important part of the game. You're in two kind of thirds of the pitch, uh, the court, sorry, and so you can really influence the game and the speed of the game. And I think that she obviously was defending a lot of our goals um, you know a lot of our, our shots were we're trying to get in we just couldn't get them and yeah. she also was she was very she was a calm player she were, she didn't really look flustered at all I think yeah. she kind of she seemed very calm in it she was looking above everyone else and watching yeah. the game and then kind of moving forward from that so yeah she did make a she, she was an integral part of the team she did make a difference I think okay so I'm gonna go to analysis now to see what a bit more about the game Right, so we're going to point out a few clips for where Coventry won the game here. So we're going to show, first we're going to show the, the Coventry goal here. And you see, um, this is actually sloppy pay from Warwick actually, as the, you see where the defender should have run, but there was not a lot of options for the Warwick player, and she ends up just throwing the ball away, as you'll see here. And uh, it shows a good pressing from Coventry, but also sloppy from Warwick as well. And then also cut to a Warwick, uh, Coventry goal and shows them some of the nice ball movement they had here and they passed pass the ball out really well she makes an excellent run there she sees this open space and runs over to the other side and it just creates a lot of space for the other team to get into position and you see that these two players are very close at the moment she's marking her well but she just switches off slightly as you'll see in the following clip she switches off slightly doesn't spot that she's in open space and she gets the easy shot in So thank you so much for joining us for what has been a very interesting and very disappointing game for Team Warwick. Coventry are very, very loud and very, very excited. So Varsity is not over yet. There is plenty more to come later on today and tomorrow. So make sure that you keep following us on social media. So that's at Raw, 12.51am. Join in with the conversation, hashtag Team Warwick. Thank you so much for joining us once again. I've been Jamie Lee Jenkins.